Hello everybody, Grey Steel Plays, and we're here checking out a new game for the channel. This is called Total Tank Simulator by Noobs from Poland. With a name like Noobs from Poland, this has to be good. Total Tank Simulator taking up in the vein of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator except with tanks. In this particular game, we are utilizing Soviet and German units. The developer had said uh, when I was talking with them that they're looking to do updates right around every month, so I'd really like to see this continue to get developed, have more units and just more things to do. But I will say the battles in this game are actually pretty damn cool. Some things to know about the units just from what I've seen, they are different. They all have different stats. What I mean by that is if we look at the, uh, the BT-7 over here for the Soviets, and then we look at the uh, Panzer II, there are different amounts of RPM fires, and different amounts of turret speeds and armor and everything else. One of the things that you're going to notice is that the Germans have the Tiger, which is the best heavy tank there is right now. The KV-2 just can't, it can't even remotely compare. However, the Soviets are very good with their light and medium tanks. Let's get a regular old battle going across here. We're going to have a decent row. You kind of just uh, left click to drag here. A nice decent row of several heavy tanks. And then we'll put a couple of light tanks on the flanks here. We're going to see how this will do. This is going to be a pretty traditional style of, of battle to start out with. Oh god, everything's off kilter. If it's off kilter, someone's OCD is going to start flaring up. There we go. That looks better. And while we're at it, put a little bit of artillery on the side. Just for the hell of it. Over here with the Soviets, let's start off with our heavy tanks. Now, if, if all things are created equal, and I really don't think that they are precisely going to be, they should come out roughly the same. So, we'll see about that. I don't really think that's completely going to happen. I kind the, the time that I played, the Germans really whipped up the Soviets. I'm going to tell you. And then we'll put a couple of artillery pieces over here. There we go. Okay, let's give this a shot real quick. Now, you're going to love the music on this for damn sure. Oh, yeah. There we go, baby. Start her off! Artillery fire! Oh, sometimes you can go right through the... Right through the freaking ground there. Let's go ahead and zoom right in. Yeehaw! That's what I'm talking about. Destructive landscapes as well. You can see the little trees popping off like freaking... Popcorn kernels. The Soviets really taking a beating here. You can see the shells ricocheting off the artillery here on the side. Kind of taking some decent shots on the on the Germans. It looks like the Soviets tried to do a, a little bit of a flanking maneuver. But holy crap, the Germans are just wiping out the Soviet Union. Mother of God. I think that was the last tank. Now all that's left is just these pieces of artillery. And you can see they can't move, so they're sitting ducks for the German squadron. Holy shit. Yeah, German victory is right. Okay, let's try this one more time. All right, here's the next setup. We're going to have a giant stack of heavy Tiger tanks against a large assortment of light and medium Soviets with only a couple of heavy K2, uh, KV-2s. Let's see how this one loads out. Now, this is going to be a lot of units on the board. I don't know how well it's going to run. All right, doesn't look too bad. Getting a little bit of chop here. Of course, as the various units explode viciously, things will start running a lot cleaner. Let's go ahead and pull right in behind these Tiger tanks. The Tiger tanks, you can see, throwing long bombs down at all of those all of those light and medium tanks. You can see the heavies over here from the Soviet side are trying to flank, but they're getting torn up. Let's take an overview look at this entire battlefield. The Germans are easily holding their own against the Soviets right now. The, the armor on these tanks is amazing. We got one Lone Ranger over here. Look at this guy. No one can touch him. He's immortal. He's the one. Oh, that was a that was a deflective shot right into the tracks. That is not where you want to get hit. I saw a tree levitating in midair. That was quite interesting. Got a lot of disabled tanks over here on the Soviet side. I don't think that the Soviets have any chance. 
these these tiger tanks are so OP. Oh my god. Even though the Soviets had about three times as many units, they didn't stand a chance. You can see there's one okay, never mind. I was gonna say there's one tank left on the Soviet side. The Germans, how many did they lose? 16 of theirs was killed, 17 was immobilized, but 27 was okay. Oh my god. So they lost about, well not la lost, but they got about half their squadron disabled. But the Soviets were totally wiped out. Okay, let's do something else here. Alright, over here we have the German face roll legion against the fuck you Soviet front. We're gonna see if the Soviets can pull this one out. They've got about, god, 12,000 more dollars. There's the big middle finger on the battlefield. Go get them, Soviets. Got a bunch of anti-armor sitting over here. I'm not sure what the range of it is. Oh, it can fire. And fire it is. Way back in the distance here is the unhappy face from the Soviets. This is kind of just lying in wait. The idea here is that they're going to clean up if there's anything left that gets through these front lines of... DMF middle finger power Although I will say it looks big time like the Soviets are rolling through the Germans and About time too, man. These guys have been getting the living crap kicked out of them Let's go deep in here and watch these units get the living crap kicked out of them. Yes. Oh Yeah, it's bedlam There's blood and ass and spitting guts everywhere the Soviets finally have their retribution. But I think we may have stacked things in their favor a little bit too far. Let's get a really big battle going. The biggest battle we can. Let me see what I can do here. Alright, I call this one the ghost chasing after Pac-Man. I know this looks like a, like a penis with some balls. This is actually supposed to be a cherry. Let's go ahead and get this started. There's about 200 units on the board. Here we go. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about now. We've got landmines set up all over here now I don't know what happens if we cross our own landmines. Oh God They definitely work so we get blown up from our own landmines. Well, that's terrible. I wish I would have known that But we'll see if the Soviets can still pull this out They've got a lot of heavy. They got a lot of heavy tanks on the field and a decent amount of very light tanks as well you can see here they are trading blows left and right. It actually looks very equal. I'm kind of impressed. Let's get right down into the heart here and take a look from the turret side view of this particular German tank. That was a good shot. You saw him lay one into the right to the front there. A track shot. You always want to aim for the tracks, man. That's a real weak point on these tanks. Oh, God. It looks like the Soviets' plan went to waste. With those landmines, I think that they pretty much sabotaged themselves. Well, I guess I sabotaged them. We got a couple of really light tanks that are trying to skirt around the outpost here. But they too got lit up and completely and utterly annihilated. Oh, Jesus. All right, we're going to give it one more try. This time I got rid of the landmines and I just added a couple of medium tanks. Now he's got some speed lines to him right here. There goes Pac-Man. Plus, this gives us more units on the board. More units, the better, man. Oh, God. Man, these freaking... These freaking tigers, even though I don't give them that many of them, they can lay in a huge amount of punishment. That's the only problem. It looks like their light tanks are doing fairly well, too. These light tanks of the Soviets fire very fast. Look at how quickly. You can see, though, there's friendly fire in this game. Holy Jesus. I guess that that makes for a good reason of spreading out your forces a little bit so you're not constantly shooting each other in the back. Let's take a real close up here in the Soviet side. You can see this guy's friends just got destroyed all around him. It wasn't too long before he was set on fire broiling in his own tank as well. Oh God. Oh, the Soviets are almost completely wiped out yet again. I have a feeling that the Germans just might be a little bit better. I don't know. Maybe my odd setups just aren't favoring the Soviets. Very cool little game, though. I love I love the, the, the mayhem and the destruction. The music is pretty cool as well. But, man, I got to tell you, these Germans really know how to whoop that ass when it comes to 
tank firepower. Guys, hope you're enjoying Total Tank Simulator. Until next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.